welcome back. This is um, the third part of this amplifier build. When I, <clears throat> as you can see, I've completed wiring it up, and for the many astute uh, viewer, you will have noticed that this transformer has changed. There's a black one in here, um, and it transpired that it was the wrong voltage, the wrong secondary voltages. Um, so I've dropped in the appropriate voltage here, which is 35 not 35, and our first job is to check that we're getting uh, 35 at this end, which will give us about 50 volts at this end, this end of the rectifier and smoothing cap 6 modules so that's our first port of call so <clears throat> I've got my meter and I have uh, a pin somewhere with zero on it somewhere uh, that one will do I think or a ground there uh, in actual fact I'll use this one if I lift the sleeve off of there, I should be able to get on there, yeah. So I'm on the, in effect, I'm on the ground there. And what we're going to do, um, I don't know whether that's viewable, if you can see that. Yeah. I've got a variac here. Excuse me, my head. There you go. And I'm going to wind some AC onto here and you'll note that the supplies to the power amp boards themselves have been disconnected uh, so that if there's anything untoward whilst I'm powering testing this power supply element um, I'm not going to do any damage to the boards I suppose in theory you should do it one by one so I should disconnect the AC but I'm pretty confident it's going to be okay um, but we'll start winding it on and we'll start seeing, he says, we'll start seeing some type of, maybe that's no good, I need to get somewhere else. There we go, is that any better? Absolutely nothing. That's not a very good start. It does help if you switch the power switch on down here. If you switch the power switch on, that helps, doesn't it? A bit. Um, I have to reconnect that zero. There we go. Oh, you pesky little swine. Maybe I can get on here. Let's try that. Yeah. So we're going to wind this up, we're going to put 240 on here and we should see about 50 volts DC here. Two hundred, two thirty, two forty, 230, 240 and we've got 50 volts on there on the positive side. We're going to now go to the negative side and see what we got on the negative side. This should be 50 volts negative. So we now have to perform exactly the same procedure on this power supply. So I'll get onto this zero. There's a zero volts there on the board. 50 volts minus 50 volts. So We have proved the transformer, the switch, the switch is fused, 4T, 4T fuse. We've proved that this power supply works, we've proved that this power supply is working fine. So we're going to dump all this now, turn the power off, turn the power off, and I'm going to wait, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea, and I'll be back in a minute these are discharging you cannot just connect these up to the power supply these are the 
supplies to the board you cannot just go connecting them up willy nilly now because this is all live even though we've turned the power off we still will we'll still have we'll prove it we still have 49.6 volts on that one 49.5 on that one this one has been off for a while let's just, let's just see and unless you employ, employ, employ a stinger they go 49 volts 49 volts um, that power takes a very long time to dissipate I, there is something called a bleed resistor which I, I haven't used on this occasion um, which bleeds off uh, the energy from the capacitor banks to ground but I haven't done that uh, but what I will do what I will do before I go and have my cup of tea uh, this is you've seen this all before in previous videos uh, this is a stinger it's just a 4 ohm resistor big one 50 watt and um, what you do you connect this to ground so this green wire goes back to this center point here on the power supply and you might see a little smart spark there again you might not nothing I don't think it likes that let's do it another way bear in my head excuse my head yeah little spark yeah another little spark a little spark did you hear that another spark there you might have heard that so I'm now going to disconnect the mains so in theory I've zapped all the energy and we got two volts 13 volts there so it needs doing again um, but let me just do that again I'll be back shortly right I'm back um, I've disconnected this side uh, the, to this board the power supply will be connected but the board is not and what I'm doing now is setting up the bias for this board um, it's bias function see much current is drawing so um, actually we can also at the same time I think I'll be able to do it with this uh, is see what the DC offset is yeah. so uh, connect that on there somehow I'll do it on the inside I hate these cheap things I'm talking about these these are cheap Chinese but they're they throw they throw throw away item um, and we'll monitor which is this right hand meter is on the um, offset millivolts and this is the milliamp bias so I'll we'll plug this in and start winding up and see if and what we get. Here we go. This will go up and down. The bias will go up and down as I wind on the the voltage. I think they're set for about a hundred. So we're 
240. We've got 3.8 millivolts of offset, which is very good. And this is set for 75. And I think as time moves on, uh, we will see this creep up to about 100. As it warms up, it tends to creep up, up and up and up. But this figure is very good. Uh, I'm not even going to bother touching it. You could tweak it back a bit if you wanted. Um, but that is... Anything less than 10 is very good. Uh, and we're well under 10, aren't we? So I'll leave this um, and come back to it later. I'll switch off. And you'll see this all die away there we go this will float about a bit because now this is becoming sort of unstable there's no power boring 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 it's dropping away quickly now so all the all the power, all the juice, all the energy stored in this power supply is almost down to zero. It's virtually nothing. And this also will be coming back down to zero when the pair are about zero. Um, off we go. And we'll do this side. So I'll power this off, 243 that was on. So I'm just going to leave that for a while to come down of its own volition. Point 0.16 millivolts or milliamps actually, sorry milliamps is absolutely no energy at all really is it? So this, but this side is still been powered up. So with this energy at zero, because zero is down, I can disconnect my meter here and reconnect my positive supply. This wire I'm using, uh, if you haven't seen previous, the previous two videos, um, is military spec aviation silver plated pure copper PVCU PVCU silicon coated. It is immense it's like welding wire <laughs> it's horrendous um, but now I will go over to this side this one and I've just got to take some energy out of here These have been energized. If I'd have disconnected them, I wouldn't have done this. There we go. So now I can safely connect these up. Excuse my head. There we go. So we want the positive rail off of here. there that's connected correctly there that's on there that's on there didn't like that I like that always make sure your clips are nicely on your terminals one little slip and you could blow something up
Can we see that? Not really. Put that one down there. Can we see that? Yeah. Okay, so we've got offset bias. And we'll plug it in, switch it on, and wind this up, see what we get. 60, 70, 80, 90, it's 100 volts, 120, 130, 60. I want 243. 243. 3.7, that's fine. Uh, this bias does seem to be a bit high to me. So even though it's cold. I'm going to wind him back a bit. I'll wind him back to 75 cold, as per the other one. like that. I've set 1.9 I would imagine that when this warms up this will be zero uh, same with this one as it warms up um, it will be zero-ish I'm only saying that because these are previously used um, SC200 boards So that is the setup procedure for SE200. Um, if you wanted to adjust the bias, it's this pot here and it says bias by it and the offset, it says offset, which is this one here. And you just gently tweak it. And I mean gently tweak it. See this is this is coming down and down and down. That's very rock steady at 75. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that, that's fine. There's plenty of heat seeking heat sinking uh, for this. Uh, my next port of call is to power off. Disconnect those speakers. This speaker outputs to the meter. Have a little clear up. Again, you can see this the power draining off the power supply or the positive side. Gone, it's completely gone. So, at this point, I can disconnect this reconnect my power lead gosh it's wire stiff there we go there we go um in effect that is the build almost complete just doing a bit of a tiny up here and um Disconnect that, wind that back, switch that off and all I have to do now is um, put the front cover on uh, which is a lovely silver jobby like that, uh, put the lid on uh, and listen to it, audition it. So um, I'll go and do that and I'll be back. <laughs>